Hello, I'm Trevor Brandhorst, and today I'm here to talk about the Black Power Movement, specifically how it differs from the Civil Rights Movement. For hundreds and thousands of years, whites have been the dominant in many cultures across the world, from colonization to slavery in the United States. Blacks have largely suffered gross mistreatment and inequality in representation in society and legislation. In the mid-1950s, the birth of the Civil Rights Movement and the Black Power Movement occurred. Many people lumped the two movements as one. However, scholars view the two movements as similar in goal, but very different in execution. For scholars, the Civil Rights Movement is aligned with the values of Martin Luther King Jr., who was a religious practitioner, pacifist, and social change activist. The Black Power Movement is often associated with rebellious black youth leading riots with the never back down from a fight mentality. While much has changed in the past 60 years in terms of equality in the eyes of society and law, there is still clearly much that needs to be done. The Jim Crow laws established in the South during Reconstruction following the Civil War, in the case of Plessy v. Ferguson of 1896, cleared up the South's intentions to attempt to exclude African Americans, those newly free from white society, by cementing into law the notion of separate but equal. This clearly unequitable legislation remained active for over 50 years. In the spring of 1954, a monumental watershed moment in history occurred when segregation was officially banned in the case of Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka. This was considered the inception of the Civil Rights Movement. The Black Power Movement soon found its roots as many of the movement's leaders and founders began their activism in the Civil Rights Movement. Having an understanding of their differences gives greater insight into their motivations. The Civil Rights Movement is often rooted in Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy. Dr. King was a minister of the Baptist faith and social activist. He organized sit-ins, boycotts, and peaceful protests. His peaceful protests even included pacifism to police and police dogs who abused and brutalized him and his followers. Martin Luther King had a dream of assimilation and equality a shared community for all. Dr. King differs from leaders of the Black Power Movement such as Malcolm X. Malcolm X simply did not want acceptance in white society. He wanted to have a stake in the black society and take control of take control of black society away from the white dominant culture. The Black Power Movement for many is looked at in a native light due to its more provocative tactics and has largely been blamed for the decline in participating activist efforts after the 1960s. In comparison to the righteous racial integration struggles and social justice inequality, the Black Power Movement ultimately wanted to reimagine and redefine the long-standing culture and political and economical institutions. These divisions within the black community caused many blacks to experience identity crisis as well as change identity during the civil rights and black power movement. One example of this pictured above to the left and right is Stokely Carmichael. Stokely Carmichael was one who experienced this identity crisis as he started in the civil rights movement becoming a founder of the Students Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, which he used as a tool for students and others to embrace one's blackness. He later shifted towards more violent measures and embraced the ideas perpetuated by Malcolm X during his earlier years, which tended to be more volatile and as he encouraged self-defense and ideals of black nationalism. Stokely himself later encouraged violence as a form of self-defense. While violence was used for many groups, it was done so intentionally to raise awareness. Communities were protected by groups such as the Black Panthers for self-defense which was established to protect blacks and neighborhoods from police brutality. With technological advances from relay of communication and circulation of media, coupled with an unparalleled heightened sense of group awareness that black Americans shared in the 1960s, the black power movement entered a very politicized realm. This offered a shift in the movement as parties like the Black Panthers were beginning to serve youth breakfast in po that were experiencing poverty in areas like Oakland, aiming to cure systemic problems and address daily needs that were not being met in the black communities. With the passage of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 and the Voting Rights Act in 1965, the public facilities were officially desegregated, meaning no more separate but equal, and voting, me voting preventative measures were outlawed. 
Though there still remains some sentiment throughout the 70s, black activism has experienced detrimental decline to the point where it has become almost non-existent. We know, obviously, that media portrayals in the recent months have shown extreme police brutality and murder, and riots have taken place. Yet there is so much out there showing the systemic disadvantage that blacks and other subordinate cultures experience, and there still isn't the level of activism that was seen by former leaders such as Malcolm X and Stokely Carmichael. African American scholars such as Lucius T. Outlaw Jr. are examples of the idea and fragments of the black power movement embodied today. Outlaw, who was at university during both movements, noted that the African American studies were only being taught by white professors. Outlaw used this as his motivation to study and teach philosophy and African American studies, which align with the idea of black nationalism and the sense that blacks need to be instrumental in black communities and institutions to prevent further identity crisis. While the civil rights movement made it illegal to segregate, society still has had the power to segregate through individual racism and passive racism. Simply marketing and exclusion tactics like these are those that prevent the country from truly moving on and growing towards that shared community. While the civil rights movement and black power movement found their roots in the monumental ruling in the spring of 1954, and they shared a common goal of equality and equity, their tactics differed greatly due to ideologies surrounding black nationalism, how to achieve this goal in protest, whether through violence or peace. The black power movement, while less civil, clearly has, more, has had a more powerful impact on the civil rights movement than believed. However, there still remains much to do in terms of equality and equity for all. I thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.